Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Podcast. I'm Lex and this is Libby. Hi. That was a nice hello, Libby. Well done. Today, we are going to be discussing marketing for your video game. So this is hopefully your indie game. It's up and running. It's ready. You're getting ready to announce to the world, or maybe you already have, and you just want to get those final touches in, those final little bits of marketing out there just before you launch. So, Libby, you've had a little bit of experience in this industry, haven't you? A little bit of experience, yes. I mean, we've briefly covered it previously when we were talking about Kickstarter and Mm -hmm. we spoke about Facebook marketing. And Facebook Mm -hmm. marketing, let's not go too deep, but Facebook marketing, I feel, is on the way out at the moment. It definitely seems that way. It seems to be more of an older generation thing. Older generation, yes, but even them, I just don't think it's got the life it's got anymore. Like, Facebook used to be renowned for its power of targeted marketing. You know, you Mm. can say exactly what you wanted, the exact industry, the exact age demographics, interest, blah, 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 blah. And it was the mutts nuts. Forgive me for saying such strong words there, but it really Mm. was that damn good. And then Facebook became overly saturated with adverts and people just switched off. It's kind of like Google ads. For those of us without an ad block, you get these adverts a bit and you just blank them out. You don't pay any attention to them whatsoever. So I personally feel that the sponsored posts on Facebook marketing is no longer worth the money in a controversial I know. And don't let me stop you if you want to do it. But I think there are better options out there. And that's what I want to talk about today. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about that then, shall we? You happy with that? Facebook? No, no. Well, I think it should be something we discuss at another date, maybe, because it's been a while since we used Facebook for marketing. It has. It has. And I think we should give it a fair shout, but not today. Right. Facebook marketing is available. (laughs) So that leads us to other options. So we've got Instagram, we've got YouTube, we've got TikTok. Well, TikTok is my favourite at the moment for marketing. I think TikTok is fantastic. It's definitely on the way Mm. up. It is. Now, the only catch you've got to watch with TikTok is they are forever changing that bloody algorithm. Of theirs. So they are. what might work this week might not work next week. And it's... It's a little bit hit and miss at the moment. It has to be said. It is. But why do you think so highly of TikTok? Then? Uh, just from the point of view of a video game company looking to market their game. Well, even if you're looking at the grand scheme of things, it's becoming a lot more popular with all generations. So you can target a lot more people whereas yeah. when you look at other social media things it tends to be more of a set age group yeah and i think that makes a big difference so you think the best place where people are congregating at the moment is this it does seem to be tiktok at the moment i would argue as well that people that are into video games are probably more up to date with their tech and yeah. tiktok is the current happening platform you it know? is at the moment yeah so, okay, so let's focus on TikTok for today then. Okay, okay. So, TikTok, we yes. think it's good because of the upcoming market. Yes. The, well, the, the scale of the audience on yeah. there. So, what makes a good TikTok video then? Why should we focus on TikTok over, say, Instagram? Uh, well, a good, really good starting point with TikTok is that you can get really high engagement without having an already built audience. Yes, I've seen that. You've got people that come in day one. I mean, it's rare, but it does happen. And boom, viral. 10 yes. million views day one. I mean, that's a dream for any indie game dev. Absolutely. Really. I mean, it is possible to go viral on your first post with TikTok. Yeah. Just, whereas you can't really just, do that with the other platforms. Just unlikely. Manage your yeah, unlikely. there, but it is possible. But it is possible. Yeah, I mean, the great thing about TikTok is say you make the worst video guy. Unless you've done something really, really wrong to upset the great TikTok gods, you're going to get at least 250 views. So even for your worst video, you're going to get 250 views and then hopefully people can see it in the future. Yeah. So your benchmark is 250 views per video. So we don't want to get 250 views, Libby. We want a lot more, don't we? We want to get a lot more than that. A lot more. So what can we do? What... Let, let's start with top tips then. What would your top tips. number one tip the be? The biggest tip is three second rule. Three second rule. And no, I'm not talking about picking up food from the floor. Oh. Well, before before you get that. I think you actually get five seconds for that, don't you? Five seconds. I don't know. I mean, I'm not doing anything. I've got <laughs> eebie-jeebies when it comes to that nonsense. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure no. you get five second rule. Okay. R- regardless of right, that. Right, three second rule. Three second three rule. Second. So, I mean, this really goes for any kind of advertising. If you cannot captivate your audience within that first three seconds, 
no point. You're talking about the hook, aren't you? Yes. You, yeah, I was going to yes. say, this is known as the hook in video creation. So that little bit at the yeah. beginning where we try to be funny, that's us trying to do a hook. Sorry, but if you've bared with us this point, we've obviously done something right to make you interested. Mm. So talk to us a little bit more about hooks, Libby. What is the core essence of a hook? I'm not talking about how to make one, but what is a hook? What's the purpose of a hook? Well, the purpose of a hook is to attract your audience. You want them to know exactly what you're selling, essentially. Obviously, in this case, it's your game. Mm -hmm. They need to have enough understanding within that first three seconds that they're going to watch the rest of your video. So you want to captivate your audience straight away. Bang. Yes. You've got to do it. I suppose the challenge comes in. You've got an audience of people that potentially never seen or heard of you or exactly. your product before. Assume that they haven't. Mm. Assume that they've never heard of you. They've never heard of your game. You've got to show them why your game is worth their time to pay attention to. Mm. And we're living in a quirky world these days, aren't we? Yes. So I suppose- Quirkiness sells really well. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I mean, I suppose an example would be, if you were marketing the original Super Mario Brothers, nobody's ever heard of Mario Brothers before. I mean, God, what an awful world that would be. Can you imagine? That'd be but, a weird world. But let's say it's it's not 1985, because this would not have worked back in the 80s, but it's, it's 2024. You've got a new Mario game coming out. You could have a hook with something like, if you've got a keen interest in bouncing on turtles and jumping on little dudes, I've got the game for you. Now that's ridiculous. Yes, it is. It is ridiculous, but you'd be like, what the hell is this lunatic talking about? And that's what it's all about. That's hopefully enough just to get them to stay a few extra seconds to watch your video. So if you can get the hook yeah. down, if you can get them to stay on for more than three seconds, the what? likelihood is they are then going to watch the rest of the video in full. Hopefully. Hopefully. Otherwise, you are just another swipe up oh, in oh, this case. Just before we move on then, I mean, this is a keen question you get, but general TikTok advice. Uh -huh. How long should a video be? Forget the monetization, forget the creativity program that they've got running at the minute. How long should a video be? I would say at least a minute, really. Really? 30 seconds to a minute, maybe. It depends on what it is you're doing, isn't it? Yeah. So thinking from a game perspective then yeah i would say probably at least 30 seconds yeah i mean i would argue that there has been a time and a place for seven second videos that's the minimum you can realistically yeah. do on tiktok before they just sort of ignore you so seven seconds can work but i would say the general golden rule is make your video as short as possible whilst being as long as it needs to be does that make sense yeah. because people you ain't gonna hold them forever so as short as possible but as long as it needs to be so what other tips would you have for our game developers looking to promote their game? The big, the next biggest tip, once you've got your hook sorted, consistency. Mm. Consistency is absolutely key with any, any type of marketing. <laughs> so <laughs> my teeth back in. what does consistency mean in this context? Are you talking posting once a day, once a week, once a month? What, what is I mean, consistency? It will vary from person to person because obviously there are time constraints. It mm -hmm. takes time to make videos, but you can do scheduling when it comes to posting things as well. So if you can line up you know, a week, two weeks worth of videos in one day and set them ready to go, fantastic. Well, just before you go any further with your thought, as of March, 2024, yes. TikTok recommend that you to submit, you ready for this? Um, You're gonna love this. Three to four TikToks a day. Wow, that's a lot. Three to four a day. So. With that in mind, and this is TikTok, it might very well change by next week. Hell, by the oh. time this video comes out, yeah. it might have changed. But currently, <laughs> as of right now, they want three to four TikToks three to a day. I mean, that is a lot of content. It can be. I mean, I was going to suggest, ideally you want to be posting really once a day. And I was going to say, ideally between one and three times. So I suppose you're up there with that, but three yeah. to four times a day is a lot. I mean, that's a lot of content, mm. but if you're doing seven second videos, that's a lot less. Yeah. Now, presumably, unless you're very fortunate and you're very good at this, you're not going to be able to keep this up for very long. No. So you're going to usually have a promotional period, a new patch, a new update, a new launch, etc. Do you think preparing, say, a fortnight's worth, or do you think you need longer worth of videos to go I would say period? at least a fortnight. Really? But depending on how long you're planning on running this promotional period, I mean, I would say you're probably looking at a month or two, really. A month? So um, we're looking at potentially, if we're just once a day, 
that's 30 videos. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's a lot, isn't it? Mm. So the more you can prep before that, yeah. before you start your promotional period, the better. I would say that. Yes. 30 videos is a terrifying amount. It is. However, you can repurpose your existing videos. So if you- Yeah, say, absolutely. Yeah, well, say you do five videos. One of them massively outperforms the other. Look at it, learn from it. What title did you use? What video did you use? What length, what music, what everything. Learn what you can. Mm -hmm. Remake the video. Change the script, change the visual slightly, but other than that, remake the damn Yeah, if video. it works, do it again. Yeah, get it out there, get it out. And you know another thing you need to have, which I think we might have glossed over? In each of your videos, have a clear call to action. Now, a call yes. to action is what you want your viewer to do from seeing your advert, from seeing your video. Do you want them to wish us your game on Steam? Do you want them to visit your webpage? Do you want them to buy the game on Steam? Make it clear and concise. Yeah. Ideally, you want to do something towards the end of the video is usually where it's at. Don't go asking your viewer for something. They don't know you. They don't owe you anything yet. And you're no. asking them for something. It's like, you remember on YouTube? Hi, welcome to my video. Like, comment and subscribe. It's like, why would I do that? I don't even know who you are. I don't know if you're worth watching or not. So don't ask them for something straight away. Keep it towards the late middle or the end of the video. And then once you've given them something, you've shown them your amazing yeah. game. That's when you say, by the way, if you like my game, which is the best game you'll ever play, by the way, chuck us a wish list on Steam and when it launches, it's all yours. You know, that's the type of thing you mm -hmm. want to do. Give them something before asking for something back. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. So that's call to actions. That's length. That's consistency. Do you have any other top tips for our uh, great indie game developers looking to promote their videos on TikTok? Well, less of a tip, but obviously think about your content because there are different types of content you can do when it comes to mm. video games. Obviously, you can have gameplay. And I don't just mean one bit of gameplay. Like, do a video on each different thing of gameplay. Mm -hmm. You can utilize every single bit of your game. Just going to interrupt you there again. At the minute, TikTok, I've got... No, 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 no this, is, this is a good <laughs> tip. You're going to understand okay. why I'm interrupting you. At the minute, TikTok have got a great little promotion on. It's not a secret, but they're not announcing it publicly to everybody. If you have a traditional long form video, like YouTube style, not vertical style, mm -hmm. you promote it, it's gotta be over a minute long, and you tag it with hashtag longer videos. After 72 hours, if you're fortunate, they will actually promote your video to a greater audience for free. So it's kind of like paying okay, for Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's really, really good. And, and if that's it's not guaranteed though. No, you said it's, it's over a minute. It's gotta be over a minute. It's gotta be in the traditional nine to 16 form, not 16 by nine, which is vertical. And it's gotta have hashtag longer videos as one of the hashtags. And then that's it. After 72 hours, it's a good chance. You're that's interesting. Yeah. That's good to know. But sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just thought that was worth bringing up at that particular point. Yeah, no, by all means. And actually that gives a chance of more chance of reward from a longer video as well mm. because obviously a longer video is going to take more time yeah yeah so that's yeah i'm just thinking when you mentioned gameplay there that's a really good tie into your gameplay oh god absolutely just playing a game doesn't really hold the same weight as it used to anyone unless no. your game is particularly outstanding and you know the big flashes and booms 24 7 it just doesn't have the same weight but if your video is getting pushed out charged to actual audience it's more chance ideal yeah so that's where it would yeah absolutely um other content you can do, use though, and um, one thing, I, content I would say to stay away from it early on is like the storyline and the lore and things like that, because... Yeah, it, going too in depth in yeah, your lore. Yeah, you don't want to go too in depth. You want really flashy stuff, basically. Yeah, people don't know your game. They don't no, know about this. You want the highlights of it, yeah. you know. Do what... Well, in fact, if you can get beta testers or alpha testers or friends and family to play your mm. game, Post like they're messing up. Post a glitch that's happened yeah, because it can be. Glitch. Yeah, don't just post all the perfect, perfected bits. Show the bits that have gone wrong as well because people like that, hmm. and it makes it more relatable as well. In terms of you know, there's a real person behind this game. It's not just some hmm. massive corporate company that doesn't care about its players. Yeah, yeah, it's it's connectability. Absolutely. Do you know what? Here's another super top tip for you. Not applicable to every, but if you can get Sydney Sweeney to present your video, mm -hmm. that girl is working wonders right now. If you can get her to present your video, or viral. What do you think about that? Yeah, okay. But uh, jokes well, aside, influencers, if you I can I was gonna say, if you can use influencer collaborations, 
Do keep in mind that some of them will expect a very high fee for their collaboration, mm -hmm. but some will be quite willing to, you know, if you Give advertise them. Give a free them, copy of the game. Yeah, or a free copy, mm -hmm. or, you know, you advertise it for each other. Yeah. So, especially, you know, a lot of people now kind of know someone that, even if it's a small account, they've got, you know, they do YouTube videos or whatever. Yeah. See if your friends will do it as well. It really works and really helps. You'd do it for a fire, wouldn't you? Yeah, I might. Yeah. I'll consider it. <laughs> so, any other tips, Libby? Anything else that you want to add to help our budding game devs get started on their journey? It sounds ridiculous, but using music that's trending. Really? I thought that was outdated now. Mm. Well, you're probably thinking of it from one perspective. Mm. So people aren't searching for specific songs anymore. But if you, I mean, when you scroll your For You page on TikTok, you'll probably notice you hear the same song quite frequently. And you tend to start watching those videos more thoroughly. Yeah, because of the banging beats. Yeah, because you're recognizing it and you're starting to associate it with good videos, mm. provided they are actually good, obviously. So you can still utilize trending music in that sense mm. because people are more likely to watch it if they've already heard that bit of music before. So they've got kind of an expectation. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. It might, but obviously, don't use it if it doesn't suit what you're <laughs> advertising. If it's ridiculous, then it's not going to work so well. No, that's, that's fair. That's a good tip, Louis. That's a good tip. Thank you. Any more? Anything else to mm. add? Any more wondrous and glorious advice that's going to get us those tens of millions of views? Give your audience uh, recognition. So, audience recognition? In what regard? In the sense of if someone leaves you a comment, particularly a nice comment, respond. Video replies are great as well. Yeah, video more replies. Reach. Yeah, definitely. Do you know how video replies work on TikTok? And this is why they're so good. Say you've got a video. You're going to explain it anyway, I'm going to explain it. Yeah. Say you've got a video. Just say it's been viewed by your 250 people. So it's not done terribly well. Mm -hmm. Everyone that's viewed your video, if you do a video reply to something, Everyone that's seen it gets that video reply pushed to them. So you've got a chance to get it all back. And this is why video replies are so bloody good. And the thing is, you don't need the production quality with a video reply, because it's just no. a quick response. Just record yourself. Yeah. Put a shirt on, obviously, and then just record yourself and get it done. Yeah. yeah please don't respond to our viewers naked. I didn't mean naked. I just <laughs> meant more, you know. <laughs> no one wants to see that. No. Sure, it's not just me that does his dev topless, but move on. Okay. So, <laughs> do you have any tips or tricks that I haven't mentioned? Oh, I don't know. I think I've run out. I've, I've said all my stuff. I've, I've you know, spilled the beans. Yeah, I think so. Why? What have I forgotten? You're looking at me like I was meant to say something. No, I'm just shocked that you have nothing else to say. Keep Doesn't happen very often. I keep interrupting you whenever I've got anything good to say, don't I? Well, I suppose we should probably end then with uh, stay sharp with TikTok tools and oh, the analytics. analytics. Yeah. And because, as you said earlier on, it's always changing. It's always changing and you need to see what's working for you. Yeah. Check what's working for you and build upon it. Don't ever be afraid to grow from what you've already done. Like, repurpose it. And another mm -hmm. thing as well, if you can look at your competitors, not competitors, don't look at them as competitors, but people doing the same thing or similar to you, See what's worked for them and try to repurpose it for your content. It's not stealing. It's just learning from what other people have done. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Excellent advice. Glad you enjoyed it. You got anything else for me or should we just move on and have a look at Kickstarter? Well, I've got a fantastic Kickstarter for you today. Oh, really? Yes. Is it Sawn of the Dead good? <laughs> I did like that one. That a good one. I'm looking forward to this one as well, actually. Yeah. Really looking forward to it. Well. Let's take a look. Okie dokie, let's do that. All right, Lemmy, so what have you got in store for us this week on Kickstarter? Something nice and sexy, I hope. Not the words I'd use to describe it, but okay. This week, we have Haunted House Renovator Expanded and Console Edition. Oh, so is this not a new game then? Is this like a real release? I believe it was on PC originally and they've updated it quite considerably and are aiming to launch it on consoles That's as well. Fair. I really like the cover image they've got for their video. That, it's cute, isn't it? It really does. It actually makes you want to click it. So, do you want to click it? Shall we click it then? 
Go ahead. Go on, I'll let you click it, Libby. You found it. You can have all the all fun right. and click in the button. Where's... Oh, there we go. Right. You ready? No. Is this scary? No. I mean, I'm guessing it's a horror game. It's... Ish. Greetings, paranormal renovators. Are you ready to restore haunted mansions to glory? In haunted are you ready, Lance? Elevator, no. You are tasked with banishing the this looks a lot like my house. And I mean, the messiness, not the glassiness. It is a game that That's is it's cleaner than yours. And relaxing at the same time. Libby, this is terrifying. What is going on with that? It's a haunted house. But it's okay because you're going to renovate it. Once you figure out well, isn't it their house? No. So we're we turning up at some ghost house and just... Wrecking no, it's place. our house, but it's haunted and we're going to, you know, do puzzles and things to... It looks really nice. Oh, uh, made in Unreal 4, that's nice. The old trailer. So this is part of the old trailer made in Unreal. Oh, so it looks... So they've actually started using Unreal Engine 5 now. Oh. We are now working to hard to finish. But I think it's it's quite a year. niche idea, so to be honest. And I really like it actually. Really quite, so this is still their old trailer, not not anything new. I believe so, yeah. And battling various spirits. But I really like the concept of this game. And yeah. you've got obviously the developer talking to us currently. It's nice. It's nice to hear him speaking, yeah. Yeah, it you know, it makes me feel a little bit more reassured. Reassured real, actually, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, at no point does he come on camera, but that's fine. The fact that he is doing a voiceover and explaining it, and he does explain it in quite good detail, so I know yeah. by the end of this video what the whole point of the game is. It tells me different aspects of gameplay. So I'm really impressed with this, actually. Yeah, it it's not nice. too long. I think the video is 12, uh, sorry, 12 minutes, two minutes and 12 seconds right. in total, which is a good time. It's not too short. It's not too long. Yeah. It explains it well. You can play the demo, which I haven't done yet, but I am actually going to. Yeah. Well, that's really nice. Genuinely. I like that. And it's I currently like at, I believe that, Works out at fifty-one percent. Cool. Funded. That's quick maths. Oh, well, look at that! Fifty-one percent. Look at you. It's, it's like I looked earlier. Look at you. <laughs> I mean, so, he, yeah, go on. they're not asking for a particularly massive amount. There are currently two hundred twenty-seven backers, so I'm guessing everyone's backing pretty low. They must be, yeah. But I mean, to be fair, you don't need an awful lot if you're just expanding it. I mean, if the exactly. So out. if the game is, you know, the, the concept and the game is essentially finished, they're just upgrading it. Then, hope you know. Hopefully, they don't need a huge amount more money. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. So, walk us through the Kickstarter page, Libby. Is it as good as that trailer? Because I did think that was a good. The trailer. trailer's good. The page itself is a little bit of a letdown. Oh. But only in the sense of they've just put far too much on. Um, so straight away, access to the demo. Do you think that's a problem though? Having too much rather than too little. Yes. I mean both. Or an issue. If you have too little, you're not explaining yourself enough. If you have too much, I'm bored and I'm not reaching the end of it. Right. And this falls into the latter. This though, does it? fall into the latter. So, again, they've got the Kickstarter trailer. Is that the same trailer? I think so, in which case there is really no need. I mean, I'm guessing they've done it to try and get people to watch it from the YouTube because that will help count towards their YouTube views and things. But even so... Oh, I like that. I like that gift. Yeah, Do you know, I, I saw Reddit the other day. There, someone was trying to convince me it was, it was pronounced with a J, GIF. No. No, it's it's a G. It's a GIF. Yeah, it's a hard G. GIF. Oh, the hard G. Hard Care, G. Careful, you use that kind of language. <laughs> cool. But yeah, so there's, you know, I like that they've used a lot of images. So obviously here they're saying that they want to come to PlayStation yeah. and Xbox. I like the modelled boxes as well. They're so cute. Yeah, I mean nice. that's a nice touch, isn't it? It is a nice touch. They've added their stretch goals. I mean, it's a big image. I don't think it needed to be quite that long, but, you know, great stretch goals. Is that still the same image, or is, that a, is there a break there? Uh, there is a small break here. Oh, okay. So they have broken them up, but they've kind of put all their text and things into images, which isn't a problem. It's not going to make it um, search engine compatible, though, is it? No, I suppose well, not. not. I hadn't even fun. thought about that, actually. No, I, I'm getting a little bit too, you know, nerdy now, but I, I would rather that was written as text. Yeah. But, you know, they've got their rewards. It just, there is a lot. I mean, we're not even halfway down the page. 
and there's already been a lot. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have jumped by now. The fact is, as well, on the on the side where it says story and risks, yeah, th- they've not broken it into categories, have they? No, which I think would have been better. Yeah, for such a large quantity of content. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, the images and things they've used are oh, really it's, good. It's really you know, well you designed. Can't yeah. Say that they're not. But well, you could, but you'd be wrong. Well, you'd yeah, be wrong. You would be wrong. Such an awful thing. Yeah. And it, there is just, it's too much. Oh, these graphics are great. I mean, yeah, the it. graphics are great. You can't deny really that good. at all. And, I, but I do think that they've overused them a little bit. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it's good. And I think, I mean, I'm trying to think, I don't think I've actually seen very clearly, at least, um, a website, which I think would have been a better direction. Yeah, is there not a website at all? I have a feeling now that I've said that, like, none of this, none of this needs to be on here. Well, let's just do a quick control F. Control F, www. Ooh, nothing. But it's all, it's all in images. So mm-hmm. that's not going to oh, work true. anyway, is it? Yeah. So, you know, a lot of this, I think, could have just been on a website. And I have a feeling, actually, there may be mention of the website right at the top, but it's not clear. Yeah. Because I have forgotten. Ugh. Um. Yeah, all these images. They are beautiful images. They are fantastic, but I don't think... We have think been ne- scrolling for a while, haven't we? We have been scrolling for a long time, and I don't think they're necessary. Well, jump down to the bottom, and let, let's speed it up a little bit. So... Is there for it? Yeah. Yeah. That's nice, a little bit of talk about the and studio. And then finally, we've made it to risks and challenges. We're coming to Kickstarter in order to make console ports for Haunted House Renovator and to add features to our game. Creating console ports and implementing new features is a challenging and time-consuming process. To avoid delays, any stretch goals or custom rewards might be completed after Haunted House Renovator is officially released. We will do everything in our power to ensure that all stretch goals and rewards are finished in time for the Steam release, but there is always a risk of delay. However, any rewards regarding the base game, such as Steam Keys to the PC version, should be sent without delay shortly before Haunted House Renovator PC version is released. So I thought this game already was released. I I don't know if it ever actually released or if they just completed it and then decided mm. that actually they wanted to do more. Yeah, but there is a demo available. Yeah, there is so. a demo all, already available. Mm. Fair enough. I mean, I really like this project, actually. I hope it reaches I really long. like this project as well, actually. Despite and for, this long Kickstarter. I mean, maybe they're doing it just for extra people, but I do agree it's too long. It's too long. It's definitely too long. It needs categories. I mean, the content itself isn't... Nothing's inherently bad. It's just too much of it. Yeah. But... I really like the concept of this game. I yeah. do. And I, I really hope that, you know, it does well. And I, it's halfway there, it's still got quite yeah, considerable... Let's just jump back to the top. It's still yeah. got 27 days to go. I think this could do really well, actually. I generally hope it does. So if this strikes you as the type of game that you'd be interested in, why not pop over and have a look at Haunted House Renovator Expanded and Console Edition on Kickstarter? Definitely take a look. Definitely take a look. <laughs> Thanks very much. Bye-bye.